worked with a number of startups, but we've currently got our own product we're spinning off called Malinko. Okay, the problem we're trying to solve is essentially people that are managing resources, whether those be vehicles, engineers, salespeople, who are currently recorded on, on a whiteboard. And if someone's going out and doing something, out and, out and about, they want to keep track of customer records and also <coughs> analyse that data. This is an example of a problem we're trying to solve. That is one of our clients, and that is a whiteboard that we're using about seven foot tall, and it actually goes all the way around the room. Now that's crazy, you can't operate a business like that and you can't get any information out of it. We developed Malinko, which is a um, web-based software, software service, so it works on desktops, laptops, mobile phones and um, iPads and so on. We initially developed this software back in 2006 with a waste and recycling company in Manchester who have been using it every day since then. Uh, but last year we redeveloped the software to take advantages of um, the recent technology with cloud computing. <coughs> Essentially, we're aiming at <coughs> office staff who need to manage that crazy whiteboard um, via the software. So it's servicing clients, making booking appointments and tracking any issues or problems. Outside we've got the mobile workforce, probably with handheld computers, handheld uh, phones who want to view jobs, record information, and see what they're meant to be doing and when. And also, maybe got remote access of someone tracking uh, targets, um, whether people are making appointments, and any issues that are happening. There's a few modules really to the system. Essentially, it's an appointment booking system, um, job booking system. Uh, from that, things naturally fall out to do with job sheets, um, issue and problem management, um, we've also got a, in a way it's like a CRM system as part of that with client records and customer data and we can generate reports from that. Um, I'm just going to talk about the franchise model which is a, a target, a market we're aiming at uh, because we think that's uh, very good for us. In terms of if we were to target a franchise operation for their franchisees, it's fantastic for them because the franchisees don't need to install any software with it being cloud based. And again, with it being a web front end, it's very familiar interface. From a franchisor's perspective, <laughs> um, they've got a consolidated reporting and a, and a convenient system to book appointments and jobs for all their franchisees. So you've got guys out in vans doing stuff, how do you know they're all doing best practice? Um, and we found actually, we're quite surprised that quite often the way the franchisor gets information from each of the franchisees that run around in vans is actually quite poor. Uh, so this might help them to manage that, that process. Um, this month we were working with the contractors that are doing the gritting for Asda and here's what they have to say about us. Uh, we essentially uh, were reading the Met Office data on a daily basis. We were then allocating the gritting vehicles to go around the Asda car parts in the North West, North East and North Wales and in between to essentially do gritting and snow clearance and they described it as, to, as a military style operation uh, by colleagues, colleagues at City Facilities Management. Um, we helped them achieve that and we were, they were allocating at its peak of a couple of hundred uh, visits a day and trying to manage that before using our software was a bit crazy. Uh, we are also working with Chips Away. And and the the we do. don't need to necessarily hear what he's saying there. Is <laughs> 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 to it? And basically, the ones, um, we're taking pictures of the whiteboards so and then you scheduled into a job. Yeah. Malinko totally changed that sort of. Um, it made our business so smooth it's unreal. Well, okay, that's important, but you need to hear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're working with them as a franchise operator. We've got a few franchisees using it, and we're also talking to the head office as well. <coughs> Why are we different? Um, we've got cloud technologists. Uh, a lot of the current people in the market are server-based or desktop-based. Uh, we're just trying to do a monthly license fee. Again, a lot of them yeah, require an upfront <coughs> cost. Uh, we don't. We can personalise the software. Because people that are out and about, they might call the people out and about uh, engineers, salespeople, operatives, 
vehicles, we can um, change the nomenclature of the software to reflect that as well, so it, it's easier to adopt the software, and we can customise it as One well. One more minute. I think that, that wraps it up. Any questions? Um, uh, thank you for that. Um, what's it all written in? Um, we developed it in Moved on Rails, which is uh, aimed at rapid application development for the web framework. How long has it taken to write? We have about 18 months, but we were having people using it after maybe four months. <coughs> and how, um, many, how many people are in the company? Uh, three. So it's, it's been basically um, bootstrapped. We could do software developers, we work with a number of startups and have some good clients on board and we essentially use that to subsidise this. I wanted to do it for four years. I finally took the plunge when uh, two clients we were working with worked something dried up um, about 18 months ago. I had a couple of guys sat there, uh, I put the time in and, and thought I'm going to go for it. And you know, it's kind of proving, proving itself now. So what, what's your plan with this then? Um, it's what, what I can do with the resources available at the moment. Uh, I think the franchise <coughs> model I think is a, a good one because we don't get one, we don't get individual sales, we can get maybe two, three hundred sales in one go. And it also means that we don't necessarily have to support all those. The franchise are, if they've got a decent operating consult to support that as well. We just license the software to them. Um, so I think contractors essentially, people with vans. And, and I see a franchise, franchise also as the uh, easier route to my at the moment. So you, you go for the main organisation and get them to... Yeah, what, what we did with, with Chipsware, for example, we um, had a, a very friendly person who was one of the, the larger ones in the country. Uh, they, I gave them for free, asked them for feedback from very early on. We then went and spoke to a couple of others that are actually using it as well, and then we got noticed by the head office who then asked me to have a chat with them. So. That's kind of worked out, but that's, you know, that's, that's the approach I was taking for that. Do you have a, do you have a, a pricing model for how, how it's licensed, how it's sold? Yeah, at the moment we, we're charging it from just £100 a month, uh, up to say 300 if, if we've got to a few more vehicles, but I think that's going to be <coughs> flexible. Uh, we, we're not some of the other competitors in the market that have the um, server-based software. They tend to operate a big upfront, upfront fee on it which for most of our potential clients is the cost of a transit van. And they, they wouldn't consider it, we'll stick with a diary or a whiteboard. But your competitors could easily move into a cloud-based solution, and that seems to be the flavour Not, of the month. It would be just the flavour of the month. Whether it's easy for them to do that is the a lot invested in order to infrastructure already. But it, it's obviously a risk. It, it, is, it is a risk, but it's, it's, we've gone for the ones that they wouldn't necessarily go for, the, the small, smaller players. So you're going for the lower end of it? Yes. <coughs> how, how much are you looking for and what do you want the money for? Um, so the ones I don't know. I mean, I'm more looking for, uh, I think, the uh, advice, guidance. Um, could we boot up at the moment? The, you know, we're, we're generating some revenue. It's not enough to basically cover all the costs and so on at the moment. But uh, it's, we're kind of, we're there already. I think it's more, um, we need to, I think, capitalise on what we've got now. Because we've had a few very good cases that we've got. <laughs> Uh, how do we take the next level? I'm not sure at the moment. I, I can carry on as I am, and I probably will do, but unless you know, if someone is interested and wants to talk to us further, I'm happy to talk about how we actually make the most of it and really give, a big, give it a big push. I mean, what about sales and marketing at the moment? I mean, you, you know, three people who are primarily, primarily technical people. Yes, it's me doing the sales and marketing and uh, leading the project as well. So th that's why I've taken the approach of like going for the um, the end users and then get the attention of the, the head offices because to me that way we're proving the product and also it, it also acts as our sales and marketing yeah. and I need, also need to make the most of the cases as if they are stick gritting. And there are, there's Liquid Bronze and that's the name of the company? Yes. And Malinko is a product? Yes. Yes. So you're not looking at spinning this off into a separate company? Quite possibly, yes. Yes. And what other products have you got? We don't, this is the first one. Right, right. So all the sales you've made to 
support the three guys are all down to this product? No, they're not. No, we're, we're, we've been running for quite a few years developing software, developing web applications for clients, for startups. Um, I wanted to spin this off as a, it's something I wanted to do for some time, and I've done that. But essentially, we're a software company. There's a develop. We help other people make money. In, in what way? Well, we, we develop web applications. So, uh, for example, um, which I'm talking to uh, the double glazing search Ombudsman scheme. We've got their back office system to handle all the registrations, all the double glazing and conservatories and document producing and so on. That has basically been the money that's ploughed into this to get this developed. Right, right. But now it's developed, I need to sell it. Right, okay. More questions? Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much.